Hey guys, this is Ami and more. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute chick Ami Gurumi. He has two wings, a beak, little coxcomb on the top, and two feet on the bottom. Let's get started! For our first round, you want to do six single crochet stitches into a magic ring. So what you're going to do is stick out two fingers and wrap the yarn and make an X. I'm going to flip it downward. And then I like to hold this portion where it crosses over. Then you're going to put the yarn at the top and you're going to twist it so that it creates a bit of a loop onto your crochet hook. And then you're going to insert your yarn and go into the hole and go under both of the yarn lines right there. You're going to grab this yarn and you're going to come back out and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to come out through both loops and that's how you create your first single crochet stitches. Now we want to do six so we have to do five more and we want to make sure to go under both of the yarn lines right here. So let's go ahead and I drew our second single crochet stitch. It's number three and number four and number five and number six. Okay, and we call it a magic ring because once you pull on this tail, it will just magically bring in your stitches so it creates a circle. Well, it's, it's not a circle yet, but it's going to be a circle soon. And if we count our stitches, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six single crochet stitches. So our first round is complete. Now for round two, you want to have 12 um, single crochet stitches. So that means in each round, we're going to do an increase and have two in each stitch. So it's going to be two, 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 two all around. Okay, so now before I do my um, next round, I want to make sure that I insert a stitch marker. I, use, I just use a bobby pin so we know where our stitches end. Okay, so now we're ready. So for our first stitch, it, it's a little bit wonky just because it's the first one there, but I'm just going to go under both stitches right here. And you're going to do two single crochet stitches. So that's my first. And into the same stitch, you're going to go in and over and come out. So that's two. Now we also want to do two here as well. That's my first one, one. And then that's my second one right here. You want to always make sure to go under both of the loops right there. That's my first one, second one. Here we're going to go under both. Okay, and that's my second stitch right here. And into my last stitch, I also want to have two as well. One and two. Okay, I'm going to move my stitch marker. Okay, now I, at the end of each round, I always want to make sure to count and I have the correct amount of stitches. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So yes, I did my round two correctly. Round three is very simple. Um, here we are just going to stay at 12 stitches. So it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So we're going to go ahead and, head and insert right here. Yarn over, yarn over and come out. And then we're going to go to our next stitch, yarn over, and then yarn over and come out through both loops. 
So go ahead and finish this round by just doing one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So you'll find it, it should be curving a little bit now as you go. Okay, so I just want to make sure, you know, usually when we do amigurumi, the part right here where it's sort of beaded and rounded is considered the um, right side or the public side. And if you look in the back, it's a little bit more flat and that is considered the wrong side. So this is going to be the outer portion of our chick right here. For round four, we are going to have 18 single crochet stitches. So we're moving from 12 to 18. So the pattern for this one is going to be two single crochet stitches and then one single crochet stitches. So it's going to be two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around till we get to the very last stitch right here. So let's go ahead and do that pattern. Okay, so our next stitch right here, because this is pulling out from here, we know our next stitch is going to be here. So we want to do two single crochet stitches right in this spot right here. One, and that's two, okay, and then this one is just one single crochet stitch right here. Let's do our pattern again. I'm going to do two into this stitch. So here's my first single crochet stitch. I'm going to go into the same stitch I was at. That's my second one. So since it's pulling out from here, I want to go into my next stitch and just do only one here now. Okay, so go ahead and we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So now I'm just going to count and make sure that I have 18. If I look, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. For round 5, we are going to do just one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So. That should be very simple. So we're just going to go and do one in each around. Okay, go ahead and do the rest of the stitches and I'll meet you back for the next round. Okay, let's count our stitches. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and we have the correct number of stitches. Now for round six, you want to have twenty-four single crochet stitches. So we're going from 18 to 24, so the pattern is going to be 2, 1, 1. So that's two single crochet stitches, single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch. So let's go ahead and do that pattern. You're going to go and do two into our first stitch right here. That's my first single crochet stitch. That's my second single crochet stitch. That's my one single crochet stitch and then just one single crochet stitch there. So that's going to be two here, one, one. So the way I like to count is one, two, three, four. So I know I have four stitch, four set of stitches all around and then I should have 24 in the end. So let's go ahead and do two here, one. Two, and then one in my next stitch and then just one in my next stitch. Then I'm going to repeat the pattern again.
and we want to make sure we have 24 single crochet stitches so let's go ahead and count so that's going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and 24 for round 7 to 14, you're not going to increase stitches at all and you're just going to stay at 24 stitches in each round. So you're just going to do one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So that should be fairly simple. So go ahead and do all your rounds and I'll meet you back. This is how your Chika Migurumi should look like after you've completed 14 rounds. Now it's very easy to count rounds because they're very defined. You can see the lines, so this is how we count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's how I know I've created um, 14 rounds. Now we're ready to go ahead and close up our chick and we're going to do that by decreasing stitches. So for our 15th round, we want to move from 24 to 18 stitches. And I'm going to go ahead and do that actually in the back loops. So before we were going through both loops here, but now I just want to go in through for this round only through the back loop. So the back loop is here and this is the front loop and we're just going to go in through the back. So the pattern for this round is going to be a decrease right here and then a single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go into that loop right here, yarn over, and I'm going to continue to go in through the next loop, but through the back loop only. Yarn over and come back out. Yarn over and come out through all three. Now I'm just going to do one single crochet stitch right here. And then I'm going to also do one single crochet stitch right here. So go ahead and repeat that stitch. It's going to be a decrease, single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch, all in the back loop only. Okay, it ends right here. Okay, same. Now we're going to do a decrease right here. The next stitch in each of the three loops, yarn over and come out. And then you're going to do a single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch. And this is how it should look. You, there should be a bit of a ridge here if you do it through the back loop right there. Now for our round 16, we are going to move from 18 to 12 single crochet stitches. So the pattern is going to be a decrease and a single crochet stitch. Decrease, single crochet stitch. And for this one, we, we're going to return back to going through both. Loop. So we're going to go ahead and do a decrease right here and then a single crochet stitch. And then we're going to do a decrease. Oh, let me move this out of the way. Decrease right here and then a single crochet stitch and go ahead and do that all the way around. So this is how it should look like so far. And now before I do my last round, I want to go ahead and start 
stuffing um, this chick gummy grew in me. So I'm just going to get my stuffing and I'm just going to insert it through this hole in here. And you just want to stuff it so that it's firm enough, but you want to stuff it overly because then your, st your um, stuffing might show through the stitches. So I just do it. The way I stuff is I usually put it in um, just a little bit at a time so I can make sure to fill out all the spaces pretty evenly. We're just going to go ahead and do decreases all around. So we're going to move from 12 stitches to 6 single crochet stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet stitch right here, single crochet stitch. I'm just going to go ahead and do that all the way around. Okay, and then go ahead and um, cut a long tail for it because we're going to want to use that end to close this hole right here. So now what you want to do is close up your um, Chikami Groomy and you're just going to go ahead and sew these, um, go through the stitches and sew them closed. And then I just like to secure it in a knot. And then I'm going to go ahead and hide my end. I'm going to go ahead and pull it tight so that the yarn goes back in. And our first body is complete and we're ready to move on to our other section. For the wing, for our first round, we're going to do the magic ring again, and you're going to do six single crochet stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and close it and bring it in. And then for round two, you're going to do 12 stitches. Let's go ahead and put in our stitch marker first. So it's going to be two in each stitch around. So for this one, I'm going to make sure I go through both loops. So that's one, two, that's three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve, for round three, you are going to do two double crochet stitches in the next stitch. So you're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and come out, yarn over and come out through two loops, yarn over and come out through two loops again. Now you're going to do it in the same stitch right here, yarn over, go into the same stitch, and finish your double crochet stitch. And then you're going to just do one double crochet stitch into this next stitch right here. Yarn over, go into your next stitch, yarn over and come out, yarn over and come out through two loops, yarn over and come out through both loops. So at the end, you should have three double crochet stitches right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut your tail to the long And then this is your yarn. And then you want to make two of these for the wing. For the beak, grab yellow yarn and make a loop. Chain three. One, two, three. Do a single crochet stitch in your next chain. 
another single crochet stitch in the last chain chain one turn over and then you're gonna skip the first stitch here and then you're gonna go into your very last stitch here you're gonna do a single crochet stitch and then into this little loop right here and you're just gonna go in and do a slip stitch and then go ahead and pull pull out your yarn and then here's our beak made it should look a bit like a triangle for the foot you're gonna go ahead and make a loop on your crochet hook and go ahead and chain four one two three and four and we're going to go ahead and slip stitch our way back so we're going to go here and we're going to do our slip stitch one two three and then we're going to go ahead and chain three one two three and we're going to go ahead and slip stitch back again and one two and then into our very first chain we're going to go ahead and slip stitch back into that as well and, and we're going to do one last chain three one two three and then i'm going to go ahead and slip stitch back one two and then in the center portion here i'm going to go ahead and slip stitch as well and then you'll want to cut and leave a long tail okay so what this does is it creates three um, different kind of stems and then later when you sew onto your um, chick you're just going to sew this portion on so that these two stitches stick out and for the coxcomb, it's um, the same pattern, except for you just do it in the color red. So here are our parts completed. The beak, you will want to sew six rounds down. So you're going to count from the top. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And here's the six. And you want to sew it right below the six round, right here. We're going to go ahead and insert our, hook, our yarn needle and you're just going to sew just the, that one side of the triangle of the, of the beak. You're not going to sew it down all the way. You just want to sew it on that one single line right here. So this is the only way. So that way it kind of sort of stands up and actually protrudes out a bit like the beak. Go ahead and we're gonna I'm gonna secure this part with a knot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hide both of the tails. Okay now for the arms, what I like to do is actually um i want to get the tail end to this this portion right here so i just go ahead and i don't pull too tightly but i just want to make sure to go to this end right here and then i don't pull too tightly because i want this still to protrude and then i have it here so that it's ready to sew on the chick and where I'm going to do it, usually I like to do it a little bit like where the eyes kind of meet up at the side right here. So that's where I sew it. And it's usually about maybe two rounds down here. So now when I sew it, the only portion I sew usually is like a half circle. That's usually the way I like to sew it on. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this on here. And usually 
there, I like to stop because I like to for it to kind of come out like a wing sometimes. So I'll stop right here. So it's a half circle that you're sewing pretty much. And then I'm going to go ahead and secure this into a knot and hide my end. Okay, I'll cut that off in a little bit. But this one here too, I want to go ahead and hide that as well. So just what I like to do is go toward the inside a bit more. And then you can use your scissors to just cut it, cut off all the, the ends so that it, it hides them. Okay, so we just did our arm. We want to do our other arm. Remember, this is the same as here, but what we want to do when we go here, that looks weird. So what you want to do is flip it. So it's this way and then just flip it so that you have the arm part going upwards in that direction. And you're going to do the same thing here. Just carry this yarn through over here and then you're just going to go ahead and I'm going to sew around this half circle right here. Okay, so go ahead and um, do the other wing. Now we're ready to do the leg. Okay, so I usually like to do the leg right here aligned with the eye right here. So I like to have it here. And the way you're going to do it is we're just going to sew down this end only right here. go ahead and work up your other tail as as your other foot as well you might just like to go down and I just like to make sure it's okay let me see I like to make sure that it's right there so here's our chick that me grew me so you, you can finish your chick here if you like but I like to add um, to make it into a chicken I like to add this little coxcomb at the top and I like that the red gives it a nice little pop. So you can go ahead and sew this on at the top. So here's your finished chicken. It's gonna look like this. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give go ahead and give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel I, I'm planning to come up with lots more tutorials so you can make the chicken you can make it by itself you can make it in different colors I'd love to see how yours turn out um, if you're on Instagram or Facebook you can tag me with your projects thanks for watching happy crocheting and I'll catch you on the next video